I don't think my hands have ever <laughs> been so cold. I'm gonna stick them in some boiling water. Spencer says I didn't do my clamps very good, so he's going to fix them. Little does he know my clamps are done better than his. Okay, we have a bird in the barn and it doesn't want to leave. It doesn't know how to leave. Spencer, <laughs> Spencer's trying to guide it out. There we go, there we go. God! <laughs> I'm just trying to get you out. The broom got stuck on the door. Really, Spencer? He like started shutting the door. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bird. We have things we gotta be doing. Where'd it go? It's oh, on it's on the wreath. It's on the wreath. It's on the wreath. Gosh, doggum it! Okay, okay, okay. There just, we just go, there we go. Go, shut the door. Shut the door. Well, uh, that was fun. Okay, so welcome back, guys. Welcome to another video. For this week's video, we figured we would do a solar update for you guys because, as you know, it has been raining here for the past couple weeks. I figured this would be a nice time to talk about this. Yeah. In case you guys were wondering, cabin fever, or in our case, shed fever, it's a real thing. Here's Spencer. Spencer, Bear and I have seen enough scary movies. We're not letting you in. No, really, it's cold. Let me inside, please. Yeah, it's been pretty weird here the past couple days. What was that? October is the rainy season here, but we've had record breaking uh, rainfall and it, like a lot of areas, especially in the Dallas Fort Worth area, has just been flooded in other parts of Texas, obviously, but we've been saturated. So we figured we'll uh, give a little update on our uh, solar power. A little bit of background information for anybody that hasn't seen our previous videos about you know, how big our solar system is and everything. Spencer will break that down. Well, our solar system, our solar panels themselves put out about three kilowatts. We got about 23 kilowatts of battery bank storage out of an uh, electric car. And then we just got the whole Schneider set up, Schneider set up, Schneider set up for uh, all the charge controller, inverter, all that good stuff. So one question that I know we've gotten a lot is, is getting solar power worth it? Now, keep in mind, this is totally based off of personal opinion. This is just our thoughts on it. Is having solar power worth it? Yes, next question. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> In my opinion, yes. I mean, this system so far has been, I've been pretty impressed with it. Like we, as far as battery storage and running things during the evening hours when there's no sun out, have not had a shortage of power. Like not, not at all. Granted, we're not into it, a full-blown house yet so the extent of our power usage is lighting refrigerator we cook with several different devices in one night so like we got a stove top we got a toaster oven we got a microwave yeah we have we all of the normal kitchen appliances that you would have in a normal home and we run everything just like we normally would really not that much is going to change once we get into a house besides AC AC, AC yeah yeah and, um, but that's why we are making the house and a little bit very more well insulated. Yeah, and a little bit more lighting. Uh, as far as battery storage goes and all this rain, we had in a row probably a good four days of like no sunshine at all, like pretty much downpour every single day. By that fourth, fifth day, yeah, you started to see our battery voltage levels uh, drop, but I mean, we still probably had 40, 50% left 
of the uh, battery bank. That's the lowest I have ever seen it. The next day, we had, we had one day of partial sunshine, charged it all the way back up, and we're rocking and rolling again, so no no issues. Mm -hmm. What, just because I said rocking and rolling? Yeah, it's just cute. You know, something else as far as cost goes, because I know we talked about before in one of our earlier videos about how our monthly bill back home was roughly, on average, $75 a month. So, you know, after however many years, you would technically pay off your system. The thing is, is that that was a very low average for us compared to most other people's monthly electric bill. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I understand that for other people to have solar you might need a bigger solar system for your demands But you would end up having the payoff sooner rather than our 11 years like we said I would say it definitely has the potential of saving you money But it just boils down to whatever you want to do like I said having minimal monthly payments is very important to us Especially being out here and doing what we're doing, you know We want to use our money and spend it just on building and furthering this so on top of the non-reoccurring payments we wanted to be in control of our power like we knew where our power was coming from it wasn't coming from some coal power plant we knew it was coming from clean energy but also it's just like we're in control of our power no one else is in control of that or dictates that and one thing that's awesome i know this sounds like super evil but one night we were driving home late from the gym and everybody on the street next to us the power was out it felt so nice to know that we would go back to our place and be able to cook and yeah. have power and everything. Other systems that you could you could run, like a hybrid system where you run on solar power during the day or most of your energy comes from solar power during the day and then at night, instead of having a battery bank, you get power from the grid. That's, that's kind of a win-win. That way you don't have an expensive battery bank like we do. And then you just uh, sell your power, any excess power that you don't use during the day to the power company. And then you buy power back from them at night. So you either have a low monthly payment or even they might pay you if you put out enough during the day. So that might be an option for people that maybe don't want to go completely solar because maybe you know, you're worried or like he was saying, the cost. So maybe you can do both. Another reason that we wanted to do solar power is because we wanted to be off the grid. Now, let us explain to you what that means. Because I know we've gotten a lot of comments saying you're not off the grid if you have internet or a YouTube channel or all these things. So we've Spencer has a lot funny things. Yeah, so Spencer has a lot to say on this. So I'll let him take it away. I've seen this a couple of times uh, on our on some of our videos of what people think off the grid means. Some people think it's like you're completely away from society and you have no contact and just like you're out on your own. And Are you saying you want us to stop making videos? No, and it's, I, I think they just take that as like a completely extreme version of self-sufficiency. Off the grid is just like you're not attached to a network of either cables, like if you take, for instance, the power network, all the cables that run from house to house, if you look at it from the top down, it's literally a grid network and that grid will run to your house or whatever so if you're you chop that line and you don't rely on that that's part of the grid same thing with water or sewage or telephone or cable as long as you don't have things running to your house you're not attached to anything that that's all we mean you could you could be off the grid as long as your rules and regulations allow it in your area you could live in the suburbs and be off the grid yeah if you collect your own rainwater for your water or you used a well or use solar or wind for all your electricity i mean those are ways of being off the grid as far as our internet goes it's completely wireless we're not connected to a landline bottom line maybe your definition of off the grid is that you don't have any of those things but to us that's not what it means we are not connected physically to the grid everything that we do have is wireless and that's just or kind of it i mean honestly it's collected here or made here or some 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 source like that like with the internet, someone had commented like, uh, you're not off the grid if you have internet. Uh, it's like, it's such like an extreme version mm -hmm. of you think off the grid means, you know. Right. When to us it just means that we're not 
connected to the grid where we're relying on somebody else for power or water. That's just what it means to us. So coming full circle with that whole little rant there is that that's one of the main reasons that we wanted to do solar power is so we could be off the grid. Another big question that we get all the time is wouldn't it just be easier to hook up to the grid? You know, because we do have a power line near us. Yeah, it would have been easier. And uh, it probably would have been much cheaper up front. But that's not the reason why we went off the grid. It's more about principle and self-reliance than cost. I mean, yeah, as long as you don't have too much maintenance costs, you can save money in the long run. But it's the self-reliance and the clean energy aspect of it is why we chose yeah. to go this route. By no means are we doing what we're doing because it is easy. Yeah, trust me, in the uh, first couple of months out here, especially before we got power, Oh, the reality hit us pretty quick. It was quick. rough. Hit us with a shovel. But you learn, you grow, and you learn to cope with certain situations. And then once you get certain things, like power made our life so much better. And then internet, oh, that was a game changer. It made our life so much better. And just little things. You can't imagine when we have insulation and AC. Oh my gosh, <laughs> our heat now. Yeah. It's starting to get pretty cold. The other day the high was 48. Okay, we're from Florida. Like we don't do that. But honestly, it, it's so funny that when you go down to having like nothing, okay? Like none of your comforts of your home anymore and you start to get little things back, it is amazing. So just to wrap it up, our solar system is working wonderfully. No complaints here. We have more than enough power. It's working great. And once our shipping container home is complete, we will be powering it by the solar system. If we need more power in the future, we can always add on. We're just kind of going to go with the flow, but for right now, it's working great. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> it really helps the channel and hit that subscribe button and watch out for our next video. Bing! That was so weird. That's one way to end a video. No, really, it's cold. Oh. Like, say it nicely. No, really, it's cold. No, really, it's cold. Let me inside, please. Oh. No, really, it's cold. Let me inside, please. <laughs> this, this poor boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, now, ready? Um, P.S. It's been getting pretty cold here, okay? So if one week you don't hear from us, we're probably the popsicles. But bear, of course, would be a popsicle. Stay tuned. Episode 38, out. <laughs> Not 38. 42. <laughs>